Now, so this video is about taking things to the next level, which, to translate it quickly for you, means production, not just engineering or mixing, but production and creating air candy or sounds that are interesting to hear in aesthetics. If you don't have our previous videos, we get much more into that as we build up to this point and soon beyond this point. Uh, but it's all about, you can, you can have a great song and, uh, you know, a, not even a bad recording, just a plain recording. And it can really not bring across the depth of the listening experience and therefore not really carry the tune. So what you want to do is, if you want to have production elements that draw the listener in and that relate to the aesthetic of what the song is about. Now in this tune, we have this part, which is, which it was meant to sound kind of Indian, uh, to match the kind of world quality of the tune. And it's, you know, it doesn't quite cut it in terms of the sound. It doesn't sound like an Indian singer, per se. Not that that's what we're looking for, but we're looking for some kind of authenticity to it. Or at least something that's similar or has the listener think in terms of world music. So here's the intro again and the vocal part. Okay, yeah, now it leads a bit of work, but with some of the things we've already talked about here, we'll have no problem with that. So what we want to do is make that more dimensional and uh, give it some production quality. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to run it through an equalizer. I'm going to take much of the bottom end out completely. And as a matter of fact, I'm going to make it quite thin. The idea is with the processing that I'm going to use, and I'm using something that Brian Eno called treatments. He's not the first person to do it. He's just the first person to name it. And he did it fairly extensively. And it's chaining effects back to back in a specific order to create a very unique sound. <laughs> 